2016, according to the U.S. Department of Defense, 4,224 4, soldiers were killed in action in the Iraq War. In addition, 31,952 were wounded in action. When you hear the words, ladies and gentlemen, please rise, remove your hats, and honor America to, serve, to salute the men and women serving our country for the playing of our national anthem, do those that fight for our freedom cross your mind? NFL players and fans are disrespecting our fallen soldiers, as well as those that have served or are serving right now for our great country. Today I'm here to justify why the National Anthem protest should be banned and why NFL, NFL players must stand on the sidelines. I care about this issue because the men and women that, do, that fight for our country deserve the respect they earn. This morning I will show you why this, these protests were un, done in an uncivil way, why it should not be broadcasted in the National Football League, and propose a new rule to eliminate any further issues. Now I will analyze the background of this problem and why these uncivil protests should not be involved in the National Football League being broadcasted to so many people because it is such a popular professional sport. <coughs> According to Indy Star writer Dwight Adams, <coughs> on August 26, 2016, ex-quarterback Colin Kaepernick decided to take off his helmet and proceed to take a knee during the playing of the National Anthem <coughs> against the Green Bay Packers. Colin Kaepernick states that he sat for oppression and police brutality for the people of color. And he stated that he had, he had a voice for those that don't have a voice. Did the actions of the players portray the real message, or did it cause a bigger problem in the world? According to retired Army Lieutenant Brian Sullivan, it brought me to tears. There is enough dividedness in our world, and don't bring it to sports. CNN host Jake Taper posted a message in his Twitter feed from a Gold Star mother. The message stated, my body is shaking. Tears are running down my face. After hearing these stories of a Gold Star mother and a retired veteran, do these does this look like the best way to protest um, police brutality and oppression, or does it seem like it created more polarization in the world? The act of moving towards the flag disrespects more than just the military. Michael Rodriguez, a Green Beret, Beret veteran, states that he was kneeling for police brutality, I think. The flag doesn't represent that. It represents liberty. It represents every single American citizen, and it doesn't just represent our founding fathers or just the military either. That flag represents every single person that fought for any right in our country. That flag represents Martin Luther King Jr., and that flag represents Rosa Parks. Now that I explained why the National Anthem protests were done in an uncivil way, and that, are disrespectful, that was disrespectful to our soldiers, uh, it's important to know that the real reason behind the protest is a problem in the country. Police brutality and oppression is an ongoing problem, such as the, the Ferguson case in, on August 9, 2014, when Michael Brown was shot and killed by a white police officer, and that police officer got off with no charges, according to the New York Times. The NFL players chose the wrong method to portray the real message. Sure, you can say these guys have freedom of speech and the right, the, what they want to do, but it does not mean it was very inconsiderate to those who fight for our country and die for us. Now that we've understood the real issue about the, why this was not so a protest, let's look at an alternative solution. Roger Goodell, the owner of the NFL states, we believe today's decision will keep our focus on our game and, and express the extraordinary athletes who play it and those who watch it. Simple solution to this problem is the NFL needs to rule, put a rule in place that simply says the, lock, the players go to the locker room or they stand on the sidelines. Now that we have established a simple rule to eliminate these problems, let us take a look at what the NFL would be like if this was put in place. Imagine the NFL just being about football, where, no, where protesting was not a part of it and people came together. The NFL is a time and place for people to have cookouts on Sundays and for pay, families and friends to go to the stadium and have a great time together. It's, it's not a place for politics. Today I came here to justify why the National Anthem protest should be banned and NFL players should stay on the sidelines. No, my new rule will not solve everything, but it will bring the NFL back to what it used to be. Overall, we discussed why these protests were done in an uncivil way, why it should, be, why it should not be broadcast to the NFL, and, what, and a new rule to eliminate any further issues. Today I am asking you to take action with me and get the NFL to pass this rule. Use the power of social media and spread the awareness of this issue. Social media has a voice in the 21st century and let us take, use that to our advantage and get the NFL on board. Join me and have a voice for what you believe in. Tweet at NFL to stand up for our soldiers and get football only about football again.